In today's video, we're going to talk about the Volley Block. Now, last night I watched uh, Adrian, uh, Daryl, James, and Nick win the World Men's, G uh, World Men's Team Championship. Sorry. And um, fantastic, well done, guys. And one of the things that was quite evident was that when they got the opportunity, they volleyed. Sure, they did a lot of volley drives, but they volleyed straight quite a lot because that gives the opponent less time to react. Now, the kind of volleys they played were a little bit different from the ones I'm going to show you today, but essentially it's the same. What we're doing is when the ball is coming towards us, we're using the speed that the opponent has put on it, especially from a cross court drive, and we're going to block it. Okay? We're not going to use very much wrist. We're definitely not going to be using a lot of swing. What we're doing is keeping the racket hit solid, pushing the ball back. We're not really looking for a winner, although if we keep it tight enough, maybe we'll be lucky. Okay? So, the position for the backhand, arm up, and one of the things you'll notice with the professional players is they don't keep their racket down. The racket is up, so it's ready. Solid wrist, maybe you want to cock it a little bit more, maybe you want to lean it back, but what's important is that it's not flexible. The arm is back a little bit, and as it comes forward, it just moves in a horizontal line. The racket face is open. It's not closed. We're not looking to push the ball lower at this point. We're just looking to block it back along the wall. Now the feet. Classically, we should be using our right foot for our backhand and our left foot for our forehand. But we all know that in a real game, using your perfect feet is quite difficult. So in this particular exercise, make sure you practice both. Use your right foot for some, and your left foot for some. It's going to feel a little bit weird, as it should, but you can't practice something perfectly in, the, in a routine, only to do it differently in the game. Now I'm going to show you some progressions, and as in my other videos, I will overdub a commentary explaining what I'm doing. So, the first thing I need to do is get approximately two meters away from the front wall and establish a rhythm, establish a solid base. I probably do this for 50 to 100 shots. Then I move forward and touch the wall with my racket. There it was, to establish a point. And then I would go backwards towards the service line. Not too quickly, don't sort of hit one shot and run back. You're trying to ensure that you have control over the ball. Now the ball's a little bit cold and I'm having to swing more than I would have liked to in my demonstration. So, I move forward again, this time to approximately one meter away from the front wall. And I begin to move backwards towards the right hand side wall. Again, don't do it in too big a movements. You must have control over it. You must be able to stop and hit the ball and then move back in control. Now I went out of picture there and for that I apologize. And again, I've come forward. Now I've moved a little bit further away from the wall and you can do that many times. Different distances away from the wall, sideways and backwards. So, to recap, make sure the ball is warm. Make sure you are warm. Keep your wrist firm. Keep your racket back. The same would go for the forehand. I'm not going to move the camera, but this would be the motion. This would be the motion. In fact, Jonah always taught me to have the racket like this. Now, a lot of the time you see it like this. And if you really have to reach that far, then you have to do this. One of the problems with this is that it's easier to twist. When it's here, you've got much more strength to resist it. So, if you can, do it here, the same as I was doing here. Make sure you keep your feet um, flexible, light. Try and be solid when you're actually hitting the ball, but don't just keep your feet still because that's not recreating what really happens in a game. Make sure you use both feet to practice, although I would recommend using the correct foot probably 70% of the time. The racket is back. The racket is shoulder height. Even if you have to get low, 
one shoulder. Now this kind of volley is a different one. It's very difficult to block. So we're really only talking about just above your head height to probably around waist height. Although even if you get low, it's very much the same technique. Now, as a, an advanced progression, once the ball is very warm, what you can do is you can pick one up and one down. One up and one down. Now I have my doubts whether this ball is warm enough to do that, but I'll try to do it. The essential thing after you've finished doing this solo practice is that your shoulder should feel not aching, but it should feel as though it's done some work. Because too often it's like hanging down. So when it's up, it's hard work. So I'm going to finish with the advanced progression, which is actually better done in a pair group, but I don't have anybody to work with, so I have to do it on my own. So thanks for watching, and well done again, guys, for winning the World Team Championships. And um, consider subscribing, but definitely, definitely practice. See ya.